Hey everyone, Fiona here. I just want to say that Iceland has been an amazing experience. I am sitting here in this kind of grassy area um, in Isafjord and it's actually pretty nice. It must be around 60 degrees right now and it's a little bit overcast but it's really really beautiful here. So I want to say thank you to all my supporters on GoFundMe. Your support means the world to me and I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you guys. So I just want to thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Your support means the world to me and I wouldn't be here without your support. So yesterday I had my presentation where I presented my Requiem Mass and I just presented four of the movements. I was actually going to have some singers actually read through the music but they actually gave me some feedback and said it was actually uh, very difficult to read and they didn't have enough time to prepare for it so I ended up just showing my music um, the MIDI files and showing the sheet music instead so but I got a lot of good feedback from the presentation a lot of people gave me good feedback because I'm presenting my Requiem Mass and it's originally going to have a small choir kind of put together and Hydra really worked hard to try to find people and then uh, the music was a little too difficult so and also just it was so last minute and trying to find singers so <laughs> I'm just going to basically kind of talk about the Requiem Mass and I guess my process for composing it and my plans. Uh, I've only finished four of the seven movements of it so it's a little more than halfway, about halfway finished. A Requiem Mass is kind of a piece that's written to kind of honor those who have passed. And it's kind of interesting because it comes from, it's from the Catholic tradition. And I don't really consider myself religious, but I've had a lot of um, experiences singing in the church choir back in Santa Cruz. And it's been really life changing, I think. Um, just seeing more, more so the, the Renaissance and the Baroque music I've really been drawn to. And also I had a few, a couple of really close friends pass this kind of recently. And so it was kind of like a way to kind of, how can I honor their lives in a way, um, the lives that they lived. So yeah, kind of serious stuff, <laughs> it's kind of, kind of dark, but um, yeah, it was something that I wanted to challenge myself to do. You know, can I write a piece for a uh, chamber choir and then try to have it performed? And I think having tried to get performers together this last minute was probably too much. It's because the music is still being written. This is the first movement of the seven. Yeah. And I want to warn you, this is all MIDI recording, so this is all the sounds from my computer. They're not professional singers <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Mass. 
I'm just kind of using verses that I really connect with. So this is what I have so far. One of my biggest challenges has been because I'm writing for choral music, you have the music and you have the text. And so you don't want the music to kind of dictate what the text or kind of you don't want them you don't want to impose the music over the text. You want you want the text to kind of dictate how the music will be. So that's something I'm still learning and working on. Uh, you can hear the, the raven in the background calling. Um, but so that's that's one of the things I've been kind of uh, challenged with is how do I allow the text to kind of uh, write itself and you know instead of having a melody and instead of having my own rhythms I have to kind of use the the text to kind of guide the music so that's that's you know gonna give me plenty to work on for the next uh, week week or so so yeah just want to give you an update and I hope you enjoy the video I made and I will see you guys
beginning of the year. Okay. And then the, the charts go on to the roof. Okay. Oh, beginning of the year? Yeah. Maybe they stopped. Maybe they stopped. That sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Summer because we were here like uh, mm -hmm. kind of fall, the yeah. spring. I mean, spring was... uh, where can you see this uh, glacier? Sorry? Where can you see this glacier? It's uh, right across over there. This oh, way. yeah. You can see the peninsula. Uh -huh. the end of it, uh, uh -huh. and that's why he's talking about that it will no longer be classified like glacier in the mountain. Okay. Where's Greenland? Yeah, you can't see it.